Hello, this is a video about creating video from online data source, which could automatically create video with online data. Now click online data source manager tools to add online data source. Click add to add a category. Enter category name. This is the category I added. Select the category, you can edit and delete it. Now I add a data source for this category. Add RSS or XML. RSS is an online data source website. XML is a local XML format file. The processes are almost the same. Here I take the first one, RSS, as an example. Enter the RSS URL. Get the format. Now you can see the data format here. What displayed on the right is the format of the selected data. You can edit the data source. Set it as the root node. And then you can see the format changed here. Here I can delete the node I don't need. I delete link. So you can find the link node here. Click reset, you can re-edit it. Select a node to mark the duplicate content. After all the settings, name the data source. Click OK. This is the data source I added. Keep the data source selected. You can edit and delete it here. Next, I'll bind a template for the data source which could inform the system how we are going to deal with the data source and then generate a video from the data source. Keep the data source selected and click video template. When you first bind the template, you need to name it. This is the template editing interface. Here is the name of the template. This is a sidebar. This is the automatic countdown. Select it. It will auto save. You can also manually save it. This interface is similar to that of creating video from local materials. But here the preview buttons on the left, settings on the right. Here are some transformation effects. The range of the duration. You can choose more than one theme. You can also choose more than one image and more than one layout. But here is a data tag. So here is the data source I will use today. Here you can see the nodes. I can insert the node to the slide. Select the node and click insert. Now you can see the inserted node. Click remove, you can delete it. I can set one node as the keynote. You can set only one keynote in a slide. And the system will automatically divide the content of the keynote into many slides according to the settings. Now I have a try. I set a keynote. The text can be split automatically according to sentence, according to paragraph, or user-defined. If you choose user-defined, you need to enter the separator manually. Here I choose according to sentence. Now if I select a keynote, click set split mode, I can reset the text split. Having finished all the settings, now we go to next step. Choose the output format. 
for TTS setting, the rate of the speech, the volume, the voice source of TTS. Click test, you can test the text. Hello, every. Here is the object of TTS. No TTS, only convert key nodes. Convert the node or all text. On the right, you can set background music. Click add, you can add some music from file or directory. Select the music, click play, you can preview it. Click stop to stop it. Select the music, you can remove it. This is the insert mode of the background music. They can be inserted randomly or in order. After finishing the settings, you can click OK to finish the settings or to preview the, your settings. The preview interface is also similar to that of creating video from local materials. You can preview the final video, but you can't preview the transformation effect, edit the video, and so on. Here I ignore the preview step and click OK. Here is the bound template for data source. That's all for adding data source and setting the template. Close this page. Next, I will talk about the steps of creating video from online data source. Select it and click Add. Select the output directory. Input a task name. Select the template and click OK. This is the task I added. Select it and click to run. Before running it, there are some settings for you. Run once or run all the time. Run it till someday. Keep running it until you know how many videos are created. Here you can set how to use data source, newest, oldest, and random. This is the time you have to wait after each run, and the times of retry after each failure. Run only in a certain period of time. Here you can set how many videos you can create at most per day. Here you can set when the task starts to run. After all the settings, click OK. Now the task starts to run. 20 pieces of data, but no user data now. Wait the task to complete. The task finished with only one piece of data used. Select the task, open the output folder. Double click to view it. Australia's National Broadband Network. NBN rollout is slowly speeding up, with over 5 million premises already hooked up to fixed line services. That's an average of about 250,000 homes and businesses becoming NBN ready each month. NBN Co aims to service 60% of the country by 2020, meaning more and more people will need to understand what the new broadband service can do for the end consumer. While you may not have a choice on the type of NBN connection that will reach you, be that FTTP, FTTN, FTTC, HFC or something else, once Viber reaches your local area, you've got a choice when it comes to the maximum speed offered by your specific NBN subscription plan. In fact, 
the cost of the plan will largely depend on the speed tier you choose, alongside the amount of monthly data you need for your household. Looking for a broadband plan? Compare 39 providers and find the best one that suits your needs. NBN Speed Tiers Currently, NBN Co. offers four broadband speed tiers, known as NBN 12, NBN 25, NBN 50 and NBN 100. However, it's up to individual internet service providers, ISPs, what speed tiers they offer their customers. Most of the bigger players offer only NBN 12, NBN 25 and NBN 100. NBN Co. is a wholesaler, so you won't be able to sign up directly with the company. The four speed tiers roughly represent the maximum download speed you should get, starting with 12 Mbps at the bottom. Stop here today. Thank you.